you welcome back to my youtube channel this is motor skilled electrician and so today i'm back on the uh, consumer units distribution board series again okay so today i'm going to focus on one particular thing okay so you see there are two uh, main switch. This, this is what we call main switch. It's not the entire system that is main switch. Uh, most electricians refer to this whole system as main switch. The right name is consumer unit or distribution board. This is the whole thing. And this, uh, this, it's main switch because you use this to turn this system or this whole thing on and off. You use this to turn it on and off. So let's say you want to cut power for the entire system, you just turn it off, and when you want to turn it on, you can do so as well. It's the same with this type of uh, uh, breaker here. So this is a different breaker. This is another different breaker. They serve different purposes. This one too, they serve different purpose, okay? So this is an LCCB, or LCD, residual current device. It belongs to the residual current device group or family. And there's uh, MCB, uh, that is miniature or miniature circuit uh, breaker. Okay, so when you get this distribution board or consumer units uh, system, it's already come, it comes with a MCB. But the MCB has a limitation to what it's going to protect, or it has a limitation in its protection, okay? So it's always advisable to uh, install um, an LCD. In Ghana, we don't have, uh, uh, we don't have partition uh, distribution boards or consumer units. When you go to UK, even they are single phase. It has two LCDs. That is partition. That that means let's say about five breakers. Let's say this one will has will have its own uh, LCD here. This one will have its own LCD here, and this one will have its own LCD here. Or let's say single phase. They will partition such a way that let's say five breakers will have a different LCD, and another five breakers will have a different LCD. But it's not the case here. So um, I'm going to protect this system with this uh, this LCCB or LCD right here. Okay, so what is this going to do? Okay, so initially this system or this consumer unit already have uh, some sort of protection. Okay, so your circuits are going to be connected here, your circuit cables, that is your socket circuit, your air conditioner circuit, your water heater circuit, your lighting circuit, your air conditioner, uh, other stuffs, all those circuits are going to be connected here. So this is going to protect against overcurrent, overload, and also short circuits. Okay, short circuit is when a live and neutral cables crashes or come together. So this will, this will just strip to protect the electrical installation from fire or damage, okay. But this one, this MCB right here cannot protect, or this MCB that is usually, that is the pre-installed breaker or main switch that comes with this, distribution board or consumer units, it cannot protect against earth fault, okay? So earth fault is very common. So you see, when it comes to earth, it should be at zero volts, okay? It should be at zero volts, but the question is, how many earths how many earths will achieve that kind of uh, 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 voltage? Zero voltage? It's 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 possible, but it's 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 quite uh, not common. So, what I advise or what I recommend or what I use is I use LCD or LCCB. Okay, so this one here, this LCD. 
BB, this RCCB or RCD here is going to check the the face or the uh, the 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 face cables or the face conductors here together with the uh, with the with the uh, earth. So what it does is simple. This one is monitoring the electricity such a way that um, whenever the current is trying to flow, uh, like I said, it, it, it should be at uh, zero voltage or zero volt. Okay. So whenever it sense that uh, the current, even if it's just one uh, passing through the earth, it's going to cut off the electricity supply and it's going to protect uh, humans or people in the, in, in, in the facility and also your electrical system. Whilst uh, this is taking care of our uh, current uh, um, overload and also uh, short circuits, this this one doesn't take care of uh, short circuits. It doesn't take care of overload. It doesn't take care of overcurrent. So it specifically tackles earth fault or earth leakage, and this one will also take care of other electrical fault that will be uh, happening or that will be occurring. And so why do, you, why do we have to spend so much money to fix all these things? The thing is, uh, electrical faults are inevitable. It's, they are stuff that you, we, we don't have control over them and we cannot avoid them. So it's very important that you fix the right devices or right stuff in, 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 in an electrical installation that you've carried out or electrical project that you've uh, actually worked on. So you protect the property of your client and also the, especially the humans that will be living in the facility.